Hello everyone, I am Boran. In this video, I will solve a question uh, with this circuit, our L circuit. Um, so, initially, we need to find the current uh, in the circuit. Um, if you remember, uh, we can assume that IT equals to uh, magnitude, a magnitude times sine because of the uh, voltage. Uh, WT minus a phase. Uh, this phase difference uh, is produced because of the uh, inductance. So we can assume this one. Um, we also need to calculate I0 and the phase difference. If we are given with the uh, values of the components, we are not in the question. Uh, you can calculate all um, all the expressions in uh, numerical. Um, uh, in the other uh, question solving video that I solved, uh, I solved the series RLC uh, circuit. I calculated I zero and phase. If you want to know how to calculate I zero and uh, this phase difference, uh, you can check that uh, video. But I will just continue because the question is uh, long. So let's say that we calculated I0 and the phase just like in the other question and we know that IT is I0 times uh, sine double, uh, omega T minus phase. Um, so we, uh, we solved part A. Uh, the next question is uh, what are the voltage drops across R and L individually? So for R uh, it's simple, it's just we are, let's say, it's just IT times R. This is the voltage drop across the resistance uh, for that moment, uh, moment, for for example, T equals to T1. At that uh, second, uh, we have the voltage we are equals, uh, we are, let's say, we are 1. We are one across the resistance. For the voltage uh, drop across the inductance, uh, we have V L equals to, uh, if you remember the formula, L times D I T over D T. So, let's see. So if we are given uh, the value L, uh, we, can, we can calculate V L, the voltage drop across the inductance. Uh, we, uh, we know that this I T uh, is a sinusoidal, so it will become, this will give you uh, an expression with cosine, uh, which is actually uh, the, uh, which implies the phase difference. So. Here are the voltage drops. What is the impedance? Impedance is um, now in order to calculate the impedance, you need to uh, solve it with phase. Now let's say um, this is V zero, so this is V zero times sine omega t. This is omega t, by the way. And we assume that I is uh, has a minus uh, phase difference. So let's say this is phase. This is omega t minus phase. And uh, for the inductance, the voltage leaves the current. So this is the V L. And for the resistance. Uh, there is no phase between I and L, so so that if this is I, uh, V R is on the I V R, and uh, sum of V L and V R gives you V uh, V zero. This V zero. Now, uh, in order to calculate Z. We had, uh, if you remember, we had the formula of 
we close the curve. Mm, we no sorry. X r square plus x uh, x r. This is just r uh, square. This is square and square. Now this is the impedance that we we are asked to find. Uh, if you want to, I uh, pass that part, but if you want to calculate I0, you just divide V0 with this uh, impedance, so you will find I0. Also, you can calculate the phase shift here by uh, geometry, this uh, arc tan VR over VR. Uh, so, yes, we solved all the questions, all the three questions here. Uh, so for the uh, D, we need to find average power dissipated in R and L. Now, if you remember, uh, P average equals to, this is the formula in, uh, given in your books, if you check, you can find. P average equals to 1 over 2 times I0, V0 times cosine uh, P. Now, uh, this is this cosine is the fa power factor uh, for for R, for resistance, uh, this angle is uh, 0, for C, uh, P over 2, and for L, minus P over 2. Uh, if you calculate cosine P over 2 or cosine minus P over 2, you will uh, get 0. So, uh, the power dissipated in capacitors and inductances are zero p uh, which equals uh, l equals to zero for the question uh, so we know that the uh, inductance does not uh, dissipate any power so um, p um, uh, for r we have cosine 0 which equals to 1 so we have this part for R and remember that I0 um, sorry uh, remember that I R M S equals to I0 over uh, square root 2 so you have actually I0 equals to I R M S times square uh, root 2 for the uh, V0, you have the same V0 equals to VRMS times square root 2. Now, if you put them here, you will get, uh, let's write here, P average equals to uh, IRMS times VRMS. Um, so, this is, yeah. Uh, this is how you can find uh, the voltage drop uh, across R. Uh, but remember, if mm, yes, okay, okay, sorry. Yes, this is how you can find the voltage drop, uh, voltage dissipated in R. Uh, for the vo uh, power power produced in R. For the power produced in uh, voltage source, uh, you can just say that uh, the power produced and power dissipated uh, values should be the same. So, in fact, since this is zero, uh, let's say this uh, power dissipated in R was P, let's say, uh, it's just the same, this equals to P. Just, uh, because they should be the same. But remember, uh, this is the power dissipated, this is the power produced. So the minus signs might just confuse you, but uh, just keep in mind that this is the dissipated, this is the uh, produced. So you can uh, say that they should cancel each other. This part and this part will cancel each other. Uh, yes. Uh,
This was the uh, this was all for the question. Uh, what you should remember is uh, for power dissipation and produce, producing part is this uh, this formula and remember uh, power factor for uh, RLC separately and keep in mind that a voltage uh, for example this one IRMS equals to I0 over square root 2 this is what you should remember uh, okay, thank you for listening.